Hey everybody, welcome back to the Oxygen channel and another tutorial video. My name is Jonathan and I have a YouTube channel called Permaslug. Today what I'm going to do is show you how to build two different types of custom WordPress login elements using Oxygen. One is just going to be a standard WordPress page with the login element that will allow you to style it any way you want. And the other is going to be a custom modal pop-up that you can also style however you want. The page is going to be more of a standard WordPress login page like you, you've uh, come to experience. And the modal is going to be a little bit more flexible where it just pops up in the middle of the screen. Both of these achieve exactly the same end result, which of course is a custom login experience into your WordPress dashboard. And now I'm going to show you how to set up both options. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here on your screen, what I have is a WordPress demo install with a couple of pages and some content on it. So we're going to start off by going into our WordPress dashboard and actually editing our oxygen template because we're going to add a login button to the header of the site. So go ahead and edit your main template and then we'll get started. So here on the top of the page, I have a header row element. And if I open my structure pane, you can see that my logo and my menu are inside this row left div here. So what I'm gonna do is add in the button. And that also puts the button in the row left div, but I actually want this to be on the far right side of the page like you would kind of expect with the login button. And let's change the text here to just log in. The button color, I have some predefined global color, so I'm just going to choose this first red option here. And then let's set the link to my login page. So now what we can do is actually just save this and go into the front end. And you can see that now our header has the login option. And if I click that, it takes us to the login page, which is perfect. We actually don't have anything on this login page, but we can fix that super easily. So let's just go ahead and edit the page. And then you can hit the edit with oxygen button. So now that we're on our login page, we're going to start off by adding in a section. And then if you look up at the top here, there is the search field. So all you have to do is just type in login and then the login form element appears there for you. And there's a few styling options here right out of the box. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the border color to a little bit of a light gray instead of a, that darker black. So the second option here is the text color, and that might be a little bit confusing at first, but if I just go ahead and put something in the username field, you can see that this text color is what is actually being modified with this um, with this color selector here. So I'm going to leave this one as a, a, a black color, but as you can see, of course, that changes the text on our button. That's super easy to fix down here at the bottom in just a second. The border radius let's set to five pixels just to kind of give it a little curve and then the background color of the button i'm going to do that same red as our login in the top right and then this text color let's just change to white so that text color down here is for the submit button specifically now to make this page a little bit more interesting let's add in a heading element and we'll put that above our login let's just say welcome login to get started and then i'm going to go to advanced size and spacing and add 25 pixels of margin below that heading. And then if you want to change the width of this login form, it's super easy. Go ahead and select it again. Choose advanced size and spacing. And by default, the width is set to 100%. Let's just change that to 50%. And there you go. So now your login element is set up and ready to go. I'm going to save this and take a look on the front end. And then let's actually open this page in an incognito window. So now I'm just going to type in my credentials and show you that this login element works. And as you can see, it took us right to the WordPress admin dashboard, which is exactly what we wanted. Moving back over here to our example installation, what I'm going to do is go back to our main site-wide template that we were working with earlier. And I'm actually going to change this URL and just remove that entirely. And then let's just go ahead and click on save. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is add the modal element. And that puts it kind of right here in the middle of the screen, which is totally fine. What we're going to do is change the trigger of the modal, what actually makes it pop up. Um, and there's a bunch of options you can see here under show when. Find the option that says user clicks element. And now there's a new thing down here that says trigger selector. The easiest way to do this is click on choose. And you have this new option here. I'm going to, of course, just choose the login button that we created. And that pre-fills in the ID for you. So... What we're going to do now is inside of this modal, we're going to add in our login form again. And the same thing is true. We can change the border color to our CCC, the text color to the kind of blackish color, border radius of five pixels, submit button color is going to be the red, and then our text color will just be white for that button. Of course, this modal looks pretty crammed. So what you can do is just click the modal over here, and then let's add in some padding on the element itself. Kind of gives us a nice 
edge around the login element. And then let's say you wanna add in the heading like we did before. So welcome login to continue. This I'm just going to, inside of my structure pane, drag the heading on top of the login form. And again, just add in 25 pixels of margin. Let's click on save. And then let's actually go view the homepage of the site. And then now if I click the login, you can see that the login modal pops up just like we expected it to. You can get rid of this modal either by pressing escape, or if you have the modal open, you can just click anywhere in the background and it makes it go away. So it's nice and fluid. It has that transition out of the box and it's super easy to set up. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you guys to see how easy it is to set up a custom login experience for your WordPress website using only Oxygen and the pre-built elements inside of it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in a future video.